Hello Elemental community, this is Dominic from Pick Nature, and I will show you how to make nice and smooth uh, websites with scrolling animations built with Elementor Pro and nothing else but just Elementor Pro. So I have prepared this little website for you guys, we will um, talk about each uh, scrolling effect and each animation, but uh, just a little preview so you can see how it looks like, so Los Angeles. Yeah, that's it. I think that's pretty smooth animation wise. Look how everything is scaling. There is action going on. There's this little BMX coming from the side. And yeah, I think that's pretty cool. So, how did I achieve that? Let's jump into it. <clears throat> we will also talk about some. Uh, best practices and some easy and smooth eff effects that you can use on almost any website I guess. So first we jump into the section here and uh, we look at the advanced tab over here and see the motion effects are not set here because I set them in the background actually. So what I did is I added a background image and the background color. So. Uh, basically this color is not that important, but I centered the image, uh, no repeat, size cover, okay, and the scrolling effects, uh, I, I added blur, so what is blur doing? It's blurring out the image when I scroll down, so keep in mind guys, at 100% from the top to about 60%, we achieve this effect by scrolling down, right? So that's how you adjust that. And uh, for the Los Angeles typo, I added the motion effect over here in advanced. And this one is uh, scale. So what, what we do with scale is, we just scale it up. And with a speed of 5, you can adjust the speed as you want, but I guess 5 is just about right. Maybe 6, but 6 is not too bad. Yeah, so that's the first thing. So, this uh, animation here, it's uh, basically rotating, but I want to go show you guys something more advanced, because right now, it's rotating around this imaginary point here in the middle, but I would like it to rotate around itself, so what we do is, we just have to adjust uh, the X anchor point, and now as you see, it's rotating smoothly there right where we want it so yeah maybe like that so this uh, thing over here is a, a spacer and um, it has a border here that's why we can actually see it that's uh, pretty interesting if you guys want to achieve something like that we can even give it a border radius so we, we yeah basically we get a circle or something like that it's pretty cool for you guys you can you can do it like that and I added the motion effect of a horizontal scroll. Um, yeah, and this effect is applied all the time from the viewport, so that's it. And also, I have a scale which only scales up if we get it to 80%. So, this over here is a, a cutout BMX, and uh, I added it as an image. So the special thing here is the positioning, where I go to custom positioning and uh, choose the absolute value. So what we can do now is just grab it and yeah, place it where we want. Maybe maybe it's nice here, I don't know. Yeah, that's not too shabby. I like that. And uh, what I did here in the motion effects is just the horizontal scroll and the blur. So, I don't know, I think the blur is pretty cool, because it's uh, kind of blurry here, and then it gets better over there. So, what I would like to change is, um, is the level of the blurriness. I think it's a little bit too much, and something like this would look nicer. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah. So, about this one here, it's the same thing, motion effects, rotate, rotate to the right, 
And what I did here, I think that's uh, pretty interesting, so if you guys uh, watch closely. Um, oh yeah, it's too late. So the entrance animation is what I did here. So basically when we go to advanced motion effects and then entrance animation, I let it fade in from the right. I can show you guys. This is the left, but this is the right. So this looks pretty cool as it's on the right side of the screen. Um, this is like the best practice you could do. When it's on the right side and you have an element on the left too, you could uh, let this one fade in from the right and this one from the left. I think that looks pretty cool. Yeah, so this image also um, has this entrance animation, fade in left, and also scale up, which yeah looks like that. And I also animated this one with the rotate function, just to be 100% complete here. So what I did here is, uh, as you guys see, it's a scale up and uh, this moves to the right and this to the left, so nothing fancy over here. And this section has an entrance animation uh, which is going down, fading down. As you guys can see, I will show you in a second, fading down is just like that. And this one's pretty cool too. I made it blurry, so um, it blurs out. But what we can do is, what I wanted to show you guys is, we can take this whole section here. So when we come down here, only this ticket is blurry right now, but we can change that. Enable scrolling effects, blur. Let's, let's get like a deep level of blur. So when we come down here, we go down and we see this blurry section and we wonder what is it? What is going on here? We scroll down, we scroll down. Yeah, that's too much. So, <laughs> what we have to do, now you see it in action. We, we have to think about a spot where it's not blurry anymore. So, where should it stop? When we get to 50%, wait, let me remove this one here first. Because it's disturbing actually. Okay, so. Right now we see it's blurry and we are kind of interested in uh, seeing. So when we scroll down to, that's about it, 50% we get it very sharp here. So yeah, that's the animation and that, I guess that's it. So thanks for watching guys, if you enjoy this kind of videos, uh, yeah, maybe leave a like, maybe a subscription. Down below that will be pretty cool i enjoy it and yeah keep me updated with topics you want me to talk about or tutorials i can do that for you guys thanks